Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zank here, and today I'm bringing you another battle on the special VGC 14 ladder series where I climb the online ladder and provide live commentary as I go. Today I'm bringing Hydragon to the mix. I've recently got Hydragon from a friend of mine, and it's actually shiny, so I'm interested in trying it out. I'm gonna find an opponent right away, 1790 from Japan, so very highly rated player, and wow, look at this team! Salamence, Toxicroak, uh, Sableye, Snorlax, Mawile, and, uh, Re not Reuniclus, excuse me, Got the Tell. What?! I have not, never, uh, just not seen Snorlax, Toxicroak, or Got the Tail, um, Got the Tail actually used a good amount, but Toxicroak and Snorlax, just not really at all, um, in VGC too well this year, so really excited in seeing what this do, uh, can do. Obviously, the Got the Tail must be carrying Trick Room for that Snorlax, Mega Mawile, definitely too, but what a crazy team, uh, really excited to see what it can actually do. Uh, I think a Hydreigon can actually help me so much here, because it can get the Dark Pulse onto the Mawile, the Dra Draco Meteor onto Salamence, Fire Blast onto Mawile, so I definitely want that. Also want Amoongus to protect the Hydreigon, so I'm gonna go Kangaskhan, Amoongus as my leads. I'm gonna have Kangaskhan in the, um, excuse me, Hydreigon, Amoongus as my leads. I'm gonna have H Kangaskhan, and deciding on my last one, kinda want Aegislash, because Aegislash, Aegislash, excuse me, is so slow. Also debating on Rotom Heat, or even a Zoom Rill. Hmm, let's go with Aegislash. Anyway, uh, as you guys haven't known, if you guys don't know, I am doing a special 10,000 subscriber video. Uh, it is a Q&A, and I actually just shot it earlier today. Now, it was 24 minutes long, so I got to do some video editing and trimming, but uh, it was pretty cool. I got to talk a bit about myself and answer a lot of your questions, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. should be up tomorrow afternoon, so you can expect that, but meanwhile, I wanted to keep this series going. So I'm going to leave with my shiny Life Orb Hydreigon and my Amoongus, as my opponent goes with Salamence and Sableye. So, not... The worst lead matchup here, but that Sableye I'm most likely carrying fake out Salamence, probably Choice Scarf, so probably don't want this Hydreigon in. Uh, but on the first turn, I'm gonna go for a Spore onto the Salamence and just a Protect on the Hydreigon to scout out what he wants to do with his Salamence. Of course, Hydreigon is slow, and I am running Modest Nature, so that Salamence would outspeed me uh, and KO me with the Draco Meteor, but I do have Amoongus specifically to protect uh, Hydreigon from other dragons. Probably should have actually brought in Azumarill just for the dragon matchup here, but he's actually going to switch out Salamence, or she actually, Jennifer, excuse me, into Mawile. Good switch there, as let's see what Sableye does. I I anticipate a fake out onto Sable, uh, onto my Ferrothorn. Excuse me, Ferrothorn, so used to playing with Ferrothorn. Onto my Amoongus. But if the Protect doesn't go onto Amoongus, I'll be in a great position. As Sableye actually goes for the Will-O-Wisp, a uh, curious play there, but one that I definitely will not complain about as I get a free Spore off onto this Mawile. So interesting to see that the Mawile, the Salamence actually switched out. You'd think if uh, my opponent was running, say, a Scarf Salamence, she would just go for an attack. But I come out of that turn with pretty much a, a pretty much a free turn here. I anticipate Mawile switching out actually back into the Salamence. I'm gonna spore the Mawile, I think, and Dark Pulse or Draco the Sableye. I don't expect this Mawile to just eat a Fire Blast, and I'll be very surprised if it does. However, I am kind of making- Oh, the Mawile is going to switch out, so I'm going to make that call correctly, fortunately. Let's see what is coming in, though. Yep, it is going to be that Salamence. So, fortunately, I did call that correctly. Did not want a Draco Meteor that be in the case that she did not switch out the Salamence, but things are going to play out pretty well here. Sableye continuing to go for Will-O-Wisp, but obviously not going to do too much to my physical attackers. Uh, residual damage always is always good, though, as my Hydreigon is going to connect with the Dra Draco Meteor. It is going to hit that Sableye. Should do a hefty amount, probably not going to KO it, because I'm Life Orb and Sableyes tend to be bulky, but clearly I don't know my Sableye calcs very well. Life Orb, Draco Meteor from Hydreigon, able to KO that Sableye, and I'm going to be able to put my opponent's Salamence to sleep. I know a bunch of guys don't like seeing Amoongus spam Spore, but honestly, if you don't have a way to beat Amoongus on your team, like Rotom Heat, or, uh, or a way to just kind of attack through it, then... Um, I don't know. The way I see it is, if you're building a VGC team, you need to make sure you have your counters to sleep and spore in general. Uh, and I actually like using Amoongus more for Rage Powder redirects than actual uh, sleep, but I'm not going to complain here, as I'm going to put both of my opponents and Pokemon to sleep. Obviously, my Jennifer is running Intimidate on both of her Pokemon, but that's not going to really hurt me. Of course, I am burned and is, um, burned and at minus three with both of my Pokemon, I believe now, but I'm still in a fantastic position. So now the main priority, I think, is KOing the Mawile. Obviously, um, I get a free turn here. I'm going to switch into Kangaskhan with my Amoongus and just go for... I'm going to go for the Draco onto Salamence, actually. Obviously, since both my opponent's Pokemon have not been asleep, um, have not shown the sleep message yet, I'm going to get a free turn, basically, here. Uh, that pl uh, predict last turn definitely helped me a lot. 
Amoongus is going to switch out. It doesn't look like Jennifer is going to switch out, so I'm going to get a free attack, free turn of attacking here. I know that a lot of people actually don't like seeing Amoongus spam spore, so I've been uh, inclined to not bring it in uh, future VGC matches, just because I don't like people uh, thinking that VGC is just cheap spam spore. But as you see here, it is helping me a lot as my opponent, as I am able to correctly predict my opponent. It's giving me a huge advantage, as Draco Meteor will actually take out that Salamence, even at minus two. Modest Life Orb Draco Meteor from Hydreigon, so strong. I'm glad it is doing work in my first game with it. Obviously going to take some more Life Orb damage, and with the burn damage, it is racking up, but I take a huge 4-2 lead here. And I'm in a great position, especially if that Mawa stays asleep for a couple more turns. But yeah, uh, let's see what my opponent's last Pokemon is. We saw a lot of interesting Pokemon in Team Preview. It is going to be that Toxicroak. Okay, not really sure what Toxicroak has to offer, but I'm going to go for the Fake out here into Toxicroak. I'm going to switch my Hydreigon out into Aegislash now. Hydreigon has done a fabulous job KOing two Pokemon, and I, it can close up the game, but right now it is not the time for it to uh, be in the game. So I'm going to switch it into Aegislash, which has a pretty good matchup against my opponent's Pokemon. Of course, Aegislash, able to beat Mawile, even though Mawile has that super effective Sucker Punch, as long as Mawile doesn't have Fire Fang, but with the combination of Substitute and um, King Shield, Aegislash really able to close games out. Looks like he'll be able to do that here. Gonna get this Fake out onto Toxicroak. Toxicroak, not very uh, bulky. You see, takes half just from Sucker Punch, which is crazy. As Mawile does wake up, so my opponent really needed that. That's a clutch turn, but she targets the Aegislash, which does absolutely, no, not absolutely nothing, but very little amount, as I am able to heal back from this leftovers, and I am in, in a fantastic position right now. I'm going to just try to pick up the K on Toxicroak here, so I'm going to go for a return. Uh, I'm thinking of a substitute, or I'm just going to go for the Flash Cannon, actually. Uh, as Toxicroak going for the Vacuum Wave, a move that I just have not seen in VGC, mainly because not very much Pokemon get it. You see that it's actually carrying the Life Orb, um, and Mawile does go for the Sucker Punch onto the Kangaskhan as well, it's most likely going to KO, but it falls just short, as Kangaskhan is able to get a return off onto this Toxicroak, KOing it, and my Aegislash should be able to do a hefty amount to this Mawile with a uh, Flash Cannon, so... Pretty convincing 4-0 win for me, as Hydreigon does a lot of work, and Amoongus is able to, uh, basically out-overwhelm my opponent. Really surprised to see that she really had no way to deal with the Amoongus, you know, um, Amoongus really one of the most common Pokemon in VGC you have to deal with, especially, uh, Spore and Dark Void in general is such a big thing you have to play against in VGC, so you should always have a way to beat it, you know, I have the Rotom Heat, um, but because my opponent didn't have a way to KO that Amoongus, I was able to overwhelm her with it, obviously no complaints there. I'm just going to go for a switch out the king and sub my Age Slash, uh, but my opponent is going to forfeit, so I'm going to take a convincing 4-0 win there. As always, I probably have to apologize to you guys for spamming Spore, obviously, Spore, once again, um, you know, I hate saying this because I think Spore's, uh, Amoongus is an excellent Pokemon in VGC and it shouldn't be counted out, but a lot of people who are coming in from singles kind of view it as a cheap strategy, but obviously, like I've been saying this entire match, uh, that's why you need to have checks to Amoongus on your team, and you see exactly what Amoongus can do when it isn't properly checked. So leave a like for this video, guys, if you enjoyed it. 500 likes is always a go for daily videos, and expect that question and answer video tomorrow. Otherwise, that's it for today's video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.